I've been looking on the internet, uh, trying to find resources on why we have flat keys in the first place. And I don't think I've seen a succinct sort of explanation on the internet yet. So think of this as a non-historically bound personal way that I deduced why we have flat keys in the first place. So like in a previous video, harmony is what happens when frequencies fall in sync, like a lot. The first harmonic interval is that of the octave, which has a ratio of 2 to 1, which means the frequency of a note is doubled. The second harmonic, the second most consonant noise, is that of the perfect fifth, which has a ratio of 3 to 2. Now, if we start at C and we work our way up in perfect fifths, we will get access to every other white note. Except for the fourth note. That B at the end throws us off balance and throws us onto an F sharp. Because the Ionian scale is built with an imbalance, that imbalance being the tritone, the F and the B. So the B's actual perfect fifth isn't an F, it's an F-sharp. So how do we justify getting to the F? Well, if you go a fifth down from C, you get access to that F. And if you port that F up an octave, that would be a perfect fourth. So if we think about the numbers in this, inverting 3 over 2 would be 2 over 3. And then multiplying it by 2, because we're going up an octave, would be 4 over 3. And that's the ratio of a perfect fourth. Isn't it weird that the ratio of a perfect fourth has a denominator that's uneven? So you've gained access to the note F, but what else do you gain access to? Well, much like how the imbalance on B sends us to F sharp, the imbalance on F sends us to B flat. So the perfect fourth of F would be B flat. B, B flat. Ugh. And if you go another perfect fourth from that, you get to E flat, then A flat, then D flat, then G flat, or F sharp. Depends on the context. I don't care about it. No. The point is, you have access to two sets of six notes one from the perspective of the perfect fifth, and one from the perspective of the perfect fourth. So, if you go up in perfect fifths, you get access to what is the pentatonic scale. And if you go up in perfect fourths, you get access to what is essentially a negative pentatonic scale. I mean, that's even how it's shaped on the keyboard. Just look at it. It's literally in the way that it's built. You can look, you can see it. A lot, I used to see this as three and then two, but that's not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be the other way. Three and two, it's an negative scale. Besties, my mind is blown wide open. 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 Besties. <laughs> so, if you're ever wondering why we have black keys in the first place, think of them not as black keys or flat keys or sharp keys. Think of them as the negative pentatonic scale. Demo -tone.